this is hydrogen tap. What I'm going to show you in this video is how the Aaron Cell SLR8 is constructed. It's a twin for those of you who are interested in making your own units. This is how I make mine. If you're interested, you can go to hydrogentap.com or write John Aaron's at hydrogentap.tap.com. If you go to hydrogentap.com, you can see all these cells. The first thing you have to do is get yourself a tube. This is four and a half inches across, and the SLR8 is 12 inches deep. This is a PVC tube, and I get it machined on the top and the bottom so it's perfectly smooth, so it makes a seal. After you've got your tube ready, what I've done is I have a water sensor in the top. And a water output port on the bottom. The water sensor is made from a mono plug. And you can see it sticking through there. It's gold plated. And what happens when the water comes up to this level it shorts those contacts and you can activate a relay or anything else that you'd like. The bottom of the tube has a water output port. In this you can put a cork or run it to anything you like. What I do is cut out from acrylic 5x5 five five plate for the top and put in it three electrodes. These electrodes are from batteries. You can go to any car store and get them. They stick through here and you can see how I use them. And I've got two ports on the top. These are actually made to screw into batteries. As you can see they've got a fitting on both sides. This is a half inch thick acrylic and it's five by five. The thing we're going to do is put in a bottom this is where the tube fits on. This is again 5x5. Five five. It's by one half inch. And you can see we've got our rod sticking in here now. They would be tightened. And We have to put in a seal there. I cut this, I go to a car store and cut this out of a block. You can see, you can make this out of anything. Or what I've done is this is a, a seal that they use on car systems. Put that right down there like that. Put your tube right over it. The Aaron cell is designed so you can make modifications on it and it works very well. Got a lot of good feedback on it. You can see how that fits right on there. And then we do the same on the top. And then finally we put the top plate on. Fits rather nice. And then it's got a twist wing nut that goes on the top. Next step is we've got to put the cell together and we use plates. This happens to be three inches by six. The cell that you're looking at the way we're putting together is, has plates that are three by eight. You can see each plate has a notch cut in it and two holes here and it's got another hole here which is 
This hole here is for the electrode to go through. And what we do is make a smaller hole and thread it with a threading machine like this. This has to be done on each cell. So all these have threads in it. That's very important. The reason for that thread is this gets threaded through each cell, each plate. You notice the plates here, they're cut out that way in they're called convertible plates. When you put them together, you can see how it, it works. So if you have for every plate and you switch it around like this, the electrode goes through every alternate plate. So this side would be plus and the other side would be minus. You can see how that works. The good news about this convertible plate is that you can have two of them together like this and two the other way or four the other, any way you want it and you can change the the degree of positive and negative if you like. Through, this is what we have. We have the Aaron cell. You can see how that comes out. One other thing we have to do is we have to cut out spacers. The Aaron cell is one eighth inch between each plate. That's cut out of a long piece of plastic. It's one by one and then center hole in it. So each one of these has a spacer in between. Takes a lot of work in case you didn't notice that. There's the top. You can see right now this particular one is configured so it's every other plate. The electrode goes through it. The electrodes are stainless steel. On this side I've got another electrode over here that goes through four plates and another electrode here it comes in on this side. So what that is is so you can turn off one side or the other. It works really nice. Also you notice the plastic that goes through the plastic screw that goes through all of them through to the other side. There's two of them. It keeps the system together. Anybody who has any questions or would like to get an air and sell, you can go to hydrogentaptap.com or you can write John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. One thing you want to remember is all these are for test purposes only. They're being sold so that you have something to work with, test out your theories, and believe me, these cells work really well with that. Again, on the SLR8, there are 16 plates. They're 3 inches across by 8 inches long. The other Aaron cell are 3 by 6. This one's 3 by 8, the other one's 3 by 6.